Hey, welcome. I'm Deepak Devjani. I'm a CTO and I work with founders to help build and grow their companies. In these deep talk series, we focus on some of the biggest companies today. How do they get started? How do they make money? And what do they do to become the companies they are? Today, we're talking about Affirm. I'm pretty sure as you've been shopping online this holiday season, uh, you've come across, whether it be sites like Walmart or West Elm, or buying that bag at Gucci or those dresses that Kate Spade, you would see the button to add the product to cart right next to the total price of the product, right? Let's say you're buying the dress and it's like $500 or something. Uh, right next to that $500, you've seen something that says, or pay 100 bucks a month with a firm. That's because those companies and those sites have partnered with a firm. Now, a firm is a short-term loan company. It allows you to get the products you need today itself, and then you just owe a firm money and you make payments to a firm. Now, you could either pay them in three payments, six payments, or 12 payments. You can choose how many payments you wanna make, and voila. So that's a firm. It's this whole idea of buying it now and paying it later, or pay paying it over time in installments. So now you might be asking, well, D, how is it different than a credit card? Well, there are three biggest differences between a firm and regular credit cards. First of all, many of these merchants or stores or sites, they make a deal with a firm. They say, hey, a firm, don't charge our customers any interest on their payments. A firm makes its money from the merchant itself. So let's say you're buying um, a Peloton bike. Peloton has a deal with a firm that says you'll give our customers 0% interest for X amount of months and Peloton will just pay a firm whatever money that needs to pay a firm for providing their customers that deal. Your credit card company doesn't have a deal like that with Peloton, you would be paying interest. Now the second difference between a firm and credit cards is that credit cards charge interest in a compound way. They charge compound interest and a firm charges simple interest. Compound means, let's say you make a purchase, let's say you're buying the new PlayStation 5 and the total comes out to say $600. You put it on your credit card. Next month on your statement, your credit card charges you interest. Say after the interest, the price is now 600 plus 30. You owe your credit card $630. Come the next month, when it's time to charge interest again, your credit card charges interest not on 600, but on the $630 balance. That means it's charging interest on your original amount plus the interest it already charged you. It's adding those together and charging you interest again on that total amount of 630. This is kind of how you see stories of people where their total credit card debt is so much more than the original thing that they charged. And that's why they're perpetually in debt. Alternatively, a firm is giving you short-term, simple interest loans. That means is at the time of signing up for it, it'll tell you, hey, you want $600? No problem choose how many payments you're gonna to make to us, but then you'll pay this amount in interest, let's say $60, cool. That's all you're going to pay, $660. It gives you the interest amount right there front, so then the amount of interest it tells you, 60 bucks, that's the only interest you'd ever pay, no more. Simple interest gets charged just on the original amount, compound interest gets charged on the original amount, plus any past interest and fees they charged here. Now, the third and last difference that I can tell so far between a firm and credit cards is that your credit card doesn't really care the products you buy on that card. It is looking at you and your credit worthiness. That's it, that's all it looks at, you. But a firm, however, it can look at other factors such as what's the product you're purchasing, what time of the year you're purchasing it in, and uses that data to qualify and approve more loans in more industries and more places than your cre typical credit cards or your bank loans might be able to approve. Now let's talk about how much money does a firm make? Now, based on its most recent SEC filings, till June 2020, the year that the year from July 2019 to June 2020, a firm made about $500 million. And this is double, almost double the amount of made amount it made the previous year. <laughs> the, the, the more interesting part is they managed to double this revenue while maintaining their net losses. Their net losses for the prior year were 120 mil and for the for the most recently ended year was 113 mil. So pretty much at par and they almost double the revenues. So let's talk about how does a firm make its money. From what I can tell, it's got about five key ways of making money. 
First one, merchant fees. This is by far the biggest way it makes money. A firm partners with stores that allow their customers the ability to pay using a firm. Now these merchants pay a firm a percentage of every sale that comes in. Now why would, you, why would merchants do that? Well, first of all, by using a firm, merchants get to recognize that revenue right away. Okay, let's say you, you're buying a Peloton bike. The highest one, $3,000. If you didn't have all the money right away, you most likely wouldn't buy it or you put it on credit card. Okay, that means this Peloton doesn't get all that money right away or maybe it doesn't get you as a customer at all because you don't have all the money right away. They can't pay for cash. But if you're, using, if you're paying using credit card, Peloton has to pay credit card processing fees of about 3%. Also, uh, if you finance it using, a, using Peloton directly, Peloton has to own that debt on its own books and doesn't get all the money right away. But if it uses a firm, it loads off that debt to somebody else and Peloton gets the cash right away at the time you made the purchase. It's a great deal for companies like Peloton or Walmart or Gucci because they get the money on their books right away. Now, the reason I mentioned Peloton is about 30% of all the money that a firm made came from one company, Peloton. Just that is huge dependence on just one client. More, more so, the top 10 merchants that funnel payments to a firm make up for a third of a firm's revenues. Just 10 companies make up 35% of a firm's, a firm's revenues. It's too much dependence on a very tiny amount of customers. Okay, so let's say I'm Peloton and I go to a firm and I say, hey, I want you to not charge interest to my customers. That means a firm will then charge me higher prices as merchant fees. I'm gonna have to pay a firm more money versus if I say to a firm, hey, you know what? Charge my customers interest. Then a firm will then charge me less and it will make up the difference from the interest money that it charges my customers. And that's the second way a firm makes money from charging customers interest. In the previous example that I used, buying the new PlayStation, $500, $600, great. You say, hey, a firm, please give me $600 to, to cover my purchase. A firm will look at it, it'll say, hey, how many payments do you wanna pay me back? And you say, three payments, they'll charge you 20 bucks interest. Oh, if you wanna pay me monthly over 12 payments, fine, I'll charge you 60 bucks interest. That 60 bucks is interest revenues for a firm. It splits some of that interest revenue with the bank that actually underwrites the loan. Now, here's where we get into part number three. A firm doesn't have all these billions of dollars to give loans away to people. No, it uses banks to fund and funnel the loans. The one thing a firm does is share some of that interest revenue with those banks. But the key thing is, it brings us to the third way a firm makes money. A firm actually charges the banks a commission. Let's say you're a bank. The biggest way banks make money is by giving out loans. If a company, like a firm, comes to you saying, hey, you know what, I got a thousand people waiting for short-term loans, you'd say, cool, no problem. A firm then charges you a commission. You, you will pay a firm a commission for each of those clients. That's the third way it makes money. Fourth way it makes money. Now, you might say, well, gee, a firm isn't really in all the places, not available in all the world, so it's just available on 6,000 sites. Well, a firm recently launched a new product, a virtual credit card that its users can use anywhere online to make any purchase. And as soon as you charge a purchase on it, you'll get a notification from the firm saying, oh, you just charged $1,000. Pick the interest you wanna pay, how many payments you wanna pay me in, and uh, you're good to go. So every time its users use this virtual card anywhere on the internet, a firm makes money from interchange fees. That's the fourth way it makes money. And the last way it makes money is a firm recently came out with a new product called Savings. You wanna save money. A firm, as of today, takes, gives you a savings account, so you could give the firm money, your savings, five, 10, 20, 30, $30,000, whatever, and it'll give you interest back. The way it makes money is, it gets a higher interest payment from, it, from the bigger banks, right? It, it's been able to negotiate that, hey, I'll give you 1,000 customers who will save all this money with you in savings accounts, please give me 2% interest. And then it passes on some of that savings interest over to the customers. Uh, these days, last I checked, it was 1% interest. So that difference is one of the revenue sources for a firm. That's the fifth way it makes money. So just to recap, the five ways, merchant fees, where companies are paying 
affirm. Second way, customers actually pay interest on the purchases that they make, so that's interest revenue from customers itself. Third way, charging commission to banks to get to funnel the loans towards them. Then if you use the virtual credit card a firm gives you, it gets it makes money on the interchange fees. And lastly, if you are actually saving a money with a firm, you actually get back interest revenue, but a firm gets even more than that. So those are the ways a firm makes money. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, I really appreciate it. If you could just like and subscribe, it really helps us keep making these videos. And uh, if you know of anybody else who would also enjoy this and would like to know how some of these businesses work, by all means, I'd appreciate if you could share it with them. Uh, this is me, Deepak Devjani, signing off. See you next time. If you have any other companies that you'd like to know more about, comment them at me in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to cover them. Bye.